1959 was a very important jazz year for, for me and my own development and the evolution of jazz up until now and beyond. It was a year that saw the biggest selling jazz album and single of all time. Time Out was going where I envisioned jazz should go. I said, boy, this is, this is fine. This is going to work. Jazz was pushed to new heights of innovation, beauty, and growth. You know, the things would swing. Yeah, he'd lift you right out of your seat. It was the end of the Eisenhower era. 2.5 children and the white picket fence. In 1959, Jazz is reaching white America in a big way. Jazz musicians didn't really like join the civil rights movement. The civil rights movement actually joined them. And with all that culminates the shape of jazz to come, 1959 saw the birth of a whole new free jazz movement. When you talk about somebody speaking through their instrument, like actually hear it as a human, that's on that. He changed everything. 1959 was a phenomenon. manuscript paper with some chord scribble on it. Miles tells me uh make this sound like it's floating. Here we go. No title. Sorry. We gotta watch it because there's noises all the way through this. This is so quiet. First time I did it the engineer said the drums are making like a surface noise so Miles hollered back at him says uh that's part of it. Amazingly, Miles and his band spent a total of just seven hours recording Kind of Blue. All but one of the tracks are first takes. Anytime they completed a tune, that's what they were going to stick with. You know, it really is propelled by the idea that first thought is best thought. Try again, Irvin. We would be hard pressed to find any album opener that can compare to the opening of So What? This misty, unclear idea of where is the music going, where are we? The intro for So What was totally. Improvised, had no time reference, 
uh, no beat yet. piano and the bass sort of having this little conversation and out of this musical cloud comes the riff the grand riff the one that says so what and then just when the energy is sort of like getting to the point where it needs to be kicked up a notch Jimmy Cobb comes in with this incredible cymbal crash. When we got to the place where the solos were supposed to start, supposed to start I hit the cymbal, and I thought I had overplayed it for the room. I thought I had hit it too hard. But bang, it hits. You know, you can't plan on stuff like that happening. Miles' solo kicks off. So simple. Almost like a, you know, a whispered confession, you know, by someone very intimate to you. in jazz, a more introspective, a new way of, of thinking about the creation of, of, of jazz and the creation of jazz compositions. Part of Kind of Blue's enormous influence on music is the legacy of the band members. Many of them went on to become leaders in their own right, like saxophone virtuoso John Coltrane. the sound that was kind of like a haunting kind of voice. It was really individual, very unique, very special. The way he plays, it, sometimes it makes you feel life so deeply that it, you, know, you can almost cry, you know. And it didn't really sound like a trumpet anymore. starting to, you know, try and make the move. Bebop was the music. 